Hey everybody, Cypher Boy here, and today's video is going to be um, Batman Forever, the video game for Sega Genesis. So keep in mind, I have not played this game in so long, and I forgot the controls, unfortunately. I do have the, uh, what's it called, the instruction booklet, but that's currently put away and it's difficult to get to it because it's in my drawer and I have something in front of it so it's a hassle to um, move the cart in front of it back and forth but here we have the optional weapons you can choose from for some reason I did not go to the other one I just did the first one available um, that was on the screen so here we're going through the prison and we have to defeat the various um, inmates here. Um, here I keep struggling with the controls. Um, I do eventually get the hang of it though. I forgot to check the previous screen um, during the bat uh, grip grappler thing upwards because I think there's a hidden thing up there and as you can see the floor above you or above him um, to get up there you have to use the grappling hook and the wall off to the right hand side if you kick it, it'll, you see right there, it gives you something extra. Um, here I'm trying to figure out how to use the grappling hook. There we go. Um, don't, don't know why I did not realize the hole is in the middle here. You can see the dark spot there. But I was not thinking properly, so... That's, I'm just hopping around trying to figure out what to do next when it's right there in front of me. You can do it. There you go. Just, there. You had to hold it. Um, here I'm checking that wand. It did not do anything. Yeah, they have the electrical attack, um, as you saw there. There's two types of inmates here. Um, that was just one of them. So now you can go back to where the padlock is, to the left-hand side of the screen. And you should be able to kick it now, as I do in a moment here. There we go. Now as you can see that brought up more enemies to fight one of the attacks for Batman is the oh, hold on I had to yawn there the battering I like how it has that there. Riddle me this, riddle me that. By the Riddler. And here you, you saw you can um, glide with the cape, which is pretty cool. I like the games where you can fly and stuff. For example, Infamous. If you've never played that, you're pretty much as... For some reason, you're going across the city and your character has a bomb or something that blows up on him and so the bomb somehow gives him powers and one of them is uh, using um, his hands 
to have some kind of like energy things like a rocket pro propeller behind him and that allows him to fly in the air here he just I'm trying to there we go I was trying to figure out how to get down there um, he saw the battering right there I used to play this game all the time and I was so good at it but it's been so long since I played the Genesis that um, I was not able to um, figure it out um, as a result of that now you have to go upstairs you have to defeat all of the enemies before you can move on to the next screen I wonder if this is like Arkham prison or something I would assume so because it's like in Gotham I assume here I'm trying to there we go Oh, and another um, game I have where you can fly is X-Men Legends, I believe is Yeah, X-Men Legends 1 and 2. I have that for the GameCube. And the characters in those that can fly are Storm, Rogue, and uh, kind of a little bit Jean Grey. Because she has the telepathic, I mean not telepathic, but telekinesis where she can lift herself up into the air using her mind as you saw I went through the uh, right I got stuck here I kept messing up with the controls anyways as you saw Batman went behind that wall and sometimes they have like um, what's it called like um, different power-ups and stuff behind there you can choose or you can grab here I'm trying to use the electric chair to get that inmate fried <laughs> that's the best way to put it using the trap at, for myself but you saw there it did not work very well I don't think there's a way to if I remember I don't think there's a way to run. You have to roll across the ground or um, do that thing where you somersault into the air and glide. Um, the rest of the time, I think you just walk the whole time. I tried different button combinations, but that did not really do much. I forgot what year this game came out in. <clears throat> As you heard there, there's a power up. I think it was possibly a um, health, like a health uh, thing. I did not mean to roll out, but evidently that could happen. More uh, characters you can play as, not through the main story, but. Um, after you want unlock them, I believe you can play as like Poison Ivy for one. Um, there's a few of them. I forgot what the rest of them were though. But they were like the um, the uh, boss battles, I believe. And then after you do the boss battles, then you can unlock them if I remember properly. Uh, stupid electricity um, there's a few rounds here I like these names that they each have like paranoid oddball freak like little nicknames for each one
Griffin or I've, aren't those characters in something else like a different series or something because maybe I'm thinking of Riff Raff from uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show maybe that's probably what I'm thinking of actually although there could be characters with each of those names though and something else that I may be overlooking As you can see, I'm kind of getting more into the hang of the game. When I first started my channel, these are the type of games I wanted to focus on at the beginning. Which I don't think I did very well with that. Except I did have some uh, Majesty games, which are from the year 2000. I used to play that literally every single day for about... I don't know 15 or more hours a day I don't something like along those lines because that game is so fun um, but before I got the computer I played the Sega games I also had the um, I had the Sega Genesis the Sega Game Gear and the Nintendo I also had the original Game Boy that came out in the late 80s and I still have mine and it still works which is awesome um, and then I also got the PlayStation 1 I actually have this first three one PlayStations PlayStation or PS1 PS2 PS3 um, I have all three of those right now I don't have the fourth or fifth one though um, I'm usually about five or six years late getting those type of like the newest things so I settle for with uh, what I have as you can see here they changed to like gangsters with zoot suits you know like the zoot suit riot song that was per pretty popular when I was a teenager Yeah, these have the flamethrowers, unfortunately, and they can do them from the top or the bottom. Like they can, uh, what's it called? What word am I thinking of? Oh, they can point the flamethrower up into the air or down at the ground. So that's... When you see that happening, that's when you need to jump in, get away from there as fast as possible. And they can flip you over as you can see. I think this one is possibly the best uh, Batman game for the Sega Genesis. Oh, and the plants here, you can uh, kick those and possibly get items from them this one is probably one of the games I played most often for the Sega Genesis the other one is the Power Rangers movie see that plant there was um, uh, destroyed so it gave you something Anyway, Power Rangers the movie, I played that one a lot too. I also had the, of course the Sonic games. Uh, I think I had the first two. And then there's uh, Sonic and Knuckles, I had that one too. Um, what else was there? Oh, Wolverine, I had that game. I didn't play that one too much because you just play as Wolverine and that kind of annoyed me because he doesn't really have any powers you can see I like seeing the mutants with the powers like storm and Cyclops and those types um, I do have a spider-man game that also features the X-Men oh the statues yeah the head there you can 
here I'm trying to get onto there doing the somersault thing and for some reason it wasn't working so I must have been pushing the wrong uh, button or something here you have to there we go Oh, and the Jurassic Park Rampage. I played that one. Was that Monday or last Friday or something? Or sometime last week. Jurassic Park Rampage. That's another one I played all the time. I didn't have that many games for the Sega Genesis, but what I did have, I played all the time. When I wasn't playing the Nintendo games. Okay, what else? Oh, here's the tied up uh, security, so you have to touch them to free them. Too bad they don't help you out whenever you do free them um, and there's enemies around. That would have been pretty cool. Here I was trying to do the glide, gliding thing, but that did not work out, unfortunately. <clears throat> Don't know why that dropped out of nowhere, though. Okay, for the elevator here, you just destroy the top, and then you can go upwards with the grappling hook well you don't have to but I like to do it anyway just for the fun of it that pellet you saw those are good for when there's enemies coming towards you from behind the main enemy if, if that makes any sense One good thing about grappling hook is when you have it deployed, you don't take any damage if they hit you. The rod right here, you can um, destroy those two and possibly get things. <clears throat> I like the gliding feature here, that's pretty fun. Warlock, I like that name. That's a pretty cool name. I'm not sure what the pellets do though. And here I am jumping on top. That's fun, fun thing for me to do. It gives something to do as you're waiting for that thing to stop again.
Centaur and Sirius. Nemesis. Numbat, that's a weird name. As you can see, I got a little bit better at the fighting. Not too much, but enough to beat Pasta Boy at least. I wonder if those the gray pellets were also um, possibly health or something. I know the manual says something about it, but I haven't seen the manual in so long. Coyote and Fast. The graphics here are super awesome, I think, for the for the time the game came out. It's not movie quality, but at least you can tell it's um, supposed to be for it. And I lost here, unfortunately. <laughs> 